Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, I would like to explain you the concept of Redux. I've tried this video one more time in the past, didn't did a very remarkable job, but I thought let's do another job and this time I'm gonna nail it down. In this video, I will explain you the theoretical concept about what is Redux and how you can understand it properly before you dive and create multiple reducers and get find yourself completely lost into what actually Redux is and why it is used for. I'm planning to make a couple of more videos on what is subject. First, let's dive into the Redux thing and then I explain a little bit things at the end of the video. So Redux is really an amazing library in the JavaScript world, very popular in the domain of React and React Native. And it is kind of a compulsory go-to thing for every React and React Native developer. Understanding the concept of React and Redux is kind of a go hand in hand. So in this, ex in this video, I'll explain the Redux three times. I know this is too much, but just bear with me for a minute. And you will be singing what is Redux before me by the end of this video. So let's go ahead and try to understand what is this Redux. I'm going to give you a simple example of completely unrelated thing. And then we are going to relate that with the Redux. So just try to assume you live in a country. So how do you change a law in that country? Let's just say there is some law which is completely ridiculous and you want to change that. It's not like you just go ahead and change the law in your notebook. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. So what do you do actually? In this case, what happens is this is you, uh, means an ordinary people. What you do is whenever you want to make a change in law, you directly don't change a law. First and foremost, you create some kind of a protest because without doing a protest, nobody listens to you. You make a noise to make sure that uh, these things are being understood and are taken seriously. So you're doing all this protest to change a certain law. Now, obviously, just by protesting against this law is not going to make anything. And again, I'm offering here peaceful protest. So what you do when these laws and these protests go quite along, then what happens is these things actually reaches out to your ministers or your senates who actually can modify these laws. Again, you cannot modify your laws just in your notebook. Similarly, ministers cannot, cannot also just modify these laws in their notebook. They have to go someplace known as parliament. Uh, in different countries, it's a different thing. But ministers propose, and actually these ministers have power to amend these laws. And again, in most of the parliaments, we don't completely delete any law. We just simply like to amend this law, make some modification. And again, you can always look back in the history and can find out what was that law in like 90s, 30s, and then 1940s, what was the, what was the law. So this is all the thing happens up here. I know this is a weird story, but just bear with me for a minute more. So what happens, now notice here, uh, I have grayed it out a little bit. That means only ministers has power to make a proposed statement there that I want to change a certain law. Now, still, we don't have any connection with people of this parliament. There is definitely a cycle, but there is no direct connection between parliament and people so that parliament can notify that, hey, we have changed the law. So for that particular thing, this parliament actually notifies something known as newspaper or maybe TV agencies. Now, these TV agencies play as kind of a double role. They are subscribed to the parliament through a notification because they, let's just say, are sending some reporters to keep an eye on the parliament and just goes like that. Now, in the similar way, we are also subscribed to these newspaper, which passes us the update and completes the cycle of how people get the update. So that's my one time explanation. I'll repeat that this is the second time. So people protest for a certain law and they just move to the ministers who actually have the power to change something. They propose the statement to the parliament and then it is being notified to newspaper and then newspaper passes us the update as a general people that, hey, the news is here and we have modified the law. Now, this is actually your Redux, believe it or not. So what is the Redux actually? In the Redux concept, we goes exactly same, just the things changes a little bit. So what happens is, we have the components instead of the people. So instead of protesting, what they try to do is they try to dispatch a certain thing, which is known as action. Now, of course, just dispatching the action is not going to do anything. Now, these action actually reaches to reducers. There can be multiple, multiple reducers. There can be just one. So when these action actually reaches to the reducers, reducers has the power to change something. Now these reducers go to something known as central store, which manages all the state of the application. And these central stores, once they are being changed, are actually 
uh, they actually send a trigger to something known as subscriptions and these subscription then finally uh, notifies or instead we can say passes updated uh, passes the updated states as props to the component again really really simple again component dispatches an action to the reducers and then reducer has the power to change the certain things and uh, they have to change in the central store only because that's the place where everything goes up this sends a trigger to the subscription and subscription pass that states as a props to the component so there we go finally i have cracked down how to understand the redux as quickly and as easily as possible if you want me to make more videos on what is topic like what is what is the thing that you find confusing i can demystify that so notify me in the comment section what would you like to see more in this series of what is so in case you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and in case you enjoyed the video click that like button too and that's it for this video i'll catch you up in the next one